Hey guys, what's going on? This is Irish from the Brew City Bomb Squad coming to you from my apartment. I just got back from Living Legends 6 and I wanted to do a quick video about a quick review of the Stark Pursuit Zeta Mags. These were launched on Friday. I did a check out the team page. I did a first impressions video when it first came out and ran out some paint through them. But I used them all weekend. I had them on my TPX all weekend. I was, you know, doing some gun battling with them. So I want to do a, a post-action review now I've got some real field time with them and really put them through kind of through their paces. Uh, go ahead and start with the good. The good, like I said earlier, when I first released them, they are really heavy duty. They're heavy duty magazines. They don't feel like they're going to break. They don't, they're like a nice plastic. The outside feels solid. Um, you know, I'm kind of bending it, pushing it. I was sliding around. I had them on a, a magazine holder on this, my hip when I was running my TPX. Did a lot of sliding and diving on rocks and, and dirt and concrete and stuff like that. Got some, you know, this and everything. Um, and they really felt solid. They didn't fall out. They they were nice. They, uh, that's, that's the first thing that's really nice about them. Uh, and plus they look really cool. They're extended mag the only extended magazines for the TPX that are, you know, manufactured. Some bad things. Uh, I actually ended up breaking one over the course of the weekend. Uh, I don't know if it was my fault or what happened, but I think what had happened was uh, I was running. I got shot in the magazine holder on my hip. Some paint got in here, and I think it gummed up the spring inside here. These vents on the side, as you can see, leave it kind of exposed to getting dirty on the inside. Uh, so this is a solid. I would say it feels really solid. Something like that. I think the insides are kind of finicky. The uh, magazines. So I started having some feeding issues when I was in uh, a gunfight, and I couldn't figure out what was going on, couldn't figure out what was going on, and I took the mag out, and the follower got stuck. I actually heard about this happening to a couple other, sorry, excuse me one second, some other people during the weekend, and it's seeming like it's not an isolated problem. Uh, I started some guys, got their magazines replaced. I didn't realize that I'd actually broken mine until I got pretty much, like, was about to leave and the event was over. So I'll probably hit up the Stark Pursuit guys and talk to them about it. Um, you gotta be really, another thing I would notice, you got to be really careful with them. Uh, when you're using the loading rod, you can't, you know, a lot of people were taking them and weren't reading the instructions. Like, oh, I saw them how to do it when they first did the video, when they first did the announcement on how to do it. I'll figure it out. So to do is they push it down, and they you know, come out, and it would not come loose, and push it down, wouldn't come loose, and finally start you know, jamming on it and cracking it, you know, stuff like that. Um, you gotta be really careful. You gotta have to pull out a nice even pressure. Uh, you just kind of sl slide it in there. You gotta be real, real careful with it. Push it down all the way. Wait for the click. Pull it out, and there you go. These I wouldn't recommend trying to reload these during a gunfight. They're kind of a pain in the ass to load uh, with the loading rods and stuff like that. And it's a possibility you'll lose your loading rod on the field. But if you, like I said, if you bring enough of them on the field, you've got 20 shots each. That's almost three magazines. That's from a normal TPX mag. Uh, a couple criticisms, like I said, other than the breaking one, I uh, really wish the interior was a little more solid. I don't know what the issue is with the inside. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what caused the break I have in mind, which is actually this one right here. My other ones seem fine, like this one I didn't even use, but actually I did use it, but I never had any problems with this one. Uh, only two of them will give me loading and feeding issues. I don't know what the issue is with that. But I'm going to guess it has something to do with uh, the tensile strength of the spring and then, you know, just getting gummed up in there, stuff like that. Uh, the only other real criticism I had was the dust covers. I lost three of these before, sun, uh, before Sunday. Uh, three of these are gone. Um, it is what it is. I'm not really too worried about it. I'm not really butthurt about it. The paint, whole paint are just fine. But with your magazines having an issue with them getting dirty you really kind of want to have some to cover on the bottom, but that's a whole other issue. Uh, I wish there was a way that they, I saw some people had taken these, they're taking the little eyelet hole right there, and tied a string to that end, and then you know, ran it through and just had it on the bottom. Well, that's all well and good, but if I'm running small mags, I'm not going to need that dust cover, and that's just going to be dangling on the bottom of my gun. That's going to bother me. There's that. The other criticism I had was the method they used for the release and the detent. If you're going to make a pistol magazine on these, as you see, I told you these earlier, these little springs, there really should be some method that when you load it in the gun, it disengages the, the follower and it, or it lets it loose and starts pushing balls in the gun when you load it up. The fact that I have to remember to pull this little switch down 
kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, I get why they did it. I understand, you know, why it, it takes some pressure off the balls in the magazine and not push them against the D-type the whole time. They're not going to spring out. But at the same time, when I'm in the middle of an intense firefight with one of these, uh, I actually had a, a time when I was on a hill and I poked around the corner and the guy was like three feet in front of me. And I took four quick shots. Well, because I wasn't used to it, I forgot to release the follower, didn't shoot any shots, ended up getting shot in the face. It happens. That was a user-operator error. You know, that's not really something that can, they can have to happen. So it's something you have to train yourself to learn. And if that feels like something that's going to annoy you, uh, I wouldn't recommend spending the money on these magazines because I don't see them changing their method anytime soon. Maybe on the next batch they will, the next generation. But for now, if you can, if it doesn't bother you, hey, I recommend you check them out. They're pretty cool. Uh, overall, I'm going to give them an 8.5 out of 10 for gear, you know, kind of gear review. I know this is my first one, so, you know, whatever. But I'd say 8.5 out of 10. They're well made on the inside. Little prone to having some problems. Probably just some, you know, beta test issues and stuff like that. Uh, I was really excited when they came out. I'm excited to still have them, the ones that are working. Uh, however, they're, like said, they're prone to breaking. you got to be really careful with them, both when you're loading them and when you have them out in the field. Otherwise, you're going to have some issues. But they, when they are working well, they work great. They're awesome. And it's nice knowing you've got those 20 shots on, you know, a couple, on one magazine, whether than having to carry a whole buttload of magazines or having to try and make your own, you know, homemade, do-it-yourself magazine. So, uh, like I said, if those the things I talked about don't bother you or if you want to check them out, check them out on startpursuits.com. Uh, I will probably have some more videos. I've got some footage of me using my TPX pistol from Living Legends that I'll post up later so you can kind of see. I was, I was having some issues with it. You can kind of see what's going on. So, other than that, I... Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we're hoping to do more gear reviews in the future. So if you like it, check it out, give us a subscribe, and uh, hope you have a nice day.